So tonight is David Letterman's last show, and it's my last opportunity to tell you about the time that I was on the David Letterman show, well, my voice was. So in 1993, I narrated this test CD. It's got all different kinds of tones on it and tests you can use to determine the quality of your stereo. And one of the tests was a test of the depth perception, a depth that your stereo could produce. So I did this in Astoria Studios, a really fantastic recording studio. And I stood in front of a, a, a stereo microphone and uh, I said, I am now in a room 40 feet by 60 feet, one foot from the microphone. I am now, then I stepped a foot back, I am now one foot from the microphone. I'm now two feet from the microphone in a room 40 by 60. And this went on until I got pretty far back. And the idea was you'd play the track and see uh, how much depth your system could produce. So uh, one night, February 1st, 1994, we went to the bottom line to see Janice Ian. And we came back about 11.50 at night, turned on Letterman, and all of a sudden I hear my voice. I am now in a room. <laughs> I call my wife, I said, my voice is on Letterman's show. She said, you want to be crazy? She came and said, yeah, that is your voice. So every couple of minutes during the show, it became the running shtick. Uh, Paul, where's that Where's that guy now? I am now 14 feet. I am now 15 feet. And this went on for most of the show. And then, and it got laughs every time, obviously, so I was the butt of the joke, So, which is fine. So then at the end, he, he takes the CD and he tosses it to the back in the glass brace. He goes, now you're in the river, pal. So, and it was ha ha big joke. So the next day I called up the Letterman show and I said, listen, I'm, I'm the guy that you goofed on yesterday who did the narration of that test CD. So why don't you bring me in tonight and you can cover me with seaweed and get me all wet. I'll walk in unannounced at some point in the show, you, you tell me when, and, and I'll come on and say, hey Dave, I'm the guy who you threw in the river yesterday and I'm back and let's figure some shtick out. It could be kind of fun. So they actually, they bit on it. And they they said they'd call me back and if they were gonna do it, I have to get right into the city and blah, blah. And they ultimately decided not to do it. So that was my, my guest appearance on the David Letterman show. And people did recognize my voice. I got calls from all over the country from people who, who said, hey, was that your voice on the Letterman show? It was really quite surreal. So um, the next part of the story takes us to 19, uh, 2001, I was a, a phone-in guest on the Howard Stern show, and there was a hi-fi show in New York, and the publicist for the show pitched Gary Bababui, who who is a tech guy and, and loves vinyl, and um, he bit, and so I was a guest to talk about high-definition television. So so I, it was a phoner, so I, I get on the, on the phone with Howard, and I'm talking about it, and he goes, he goes, who needs high-definition television? What we have is good enough, we don't need this. And so, you know, we went back and forth arguing over that, so you, the usual shtick. And then uh, he said, so what else, what else is happening in tech? And I said, Howard, vinyl is going to make a big comeback over the next 10 years. You're going to see that vinyl is going to explode. And he goes, what? You're out of your mind. And then he, we got a caller. So uh, Howard's friend, Vinny Favalli, who works for Letterman, calls up and says, Howard, this guy is crazy. The future of sound is MP3s. Vinyl's not making a comeback. So I said, Vinny, I'll tell you what. I'll call you after the show. I'll sit you down in front of a good stereo and I'll compare vinyl to CDs for you and it'll blow your mind. Okay, first big mistake. Never use the word blow on the Howard Stern show. Even if you're talking about air or whatever, don't use the word. So then all kinds of funny stuff happened after that I won't get into. And after the show, I did call Vinny and we met at, uh, I think it was Innovative Audio and I played records and CDs, the same material for him and he heard that records sound much better. And then we became friends after that. And uh, so it's been really terrific because uh, Vinny and Debbie and my wife and their son Jonathan, we, we all become friends and we go visit them and, and they're terrific people. And we've gone to see their show here after a couple of times. At any rate, uh, so that's how I was able to get a copy of my appearance on the David Letterman show. Vinny was nice enough to, to dub one off onto Betamax for me. That's the story.